Let's learn how to find the equations of lines that are both parallel and perpendicular to a given line passing through a certain point. For example, the line L is given by this equation here, 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. Let's find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to L passing through this point, as well as the equation of the line that is parallel to L passing through that same point. Let's begin by finding the slope of this line, L. And we can do so by solving this equation for y. That is, 2y is equal to 4 minus 3x. And now dividing both sides by 2 gives us that y is equal to 4 divided by 2 minus 3 divided by 2 times x. Or y is equal to 2 minus 3 halves x. Now remember that the slope of the line is the coefficient of x here, which means that the slope of line L is equal to negative 3 halves. Now it is a fact that the slope of any line that is perpendicular to L is equal to the negative reciprocal of the slope of L. That is, this is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 2 that we just found over here on the right, which is equal to 2 thirds. And it is also a fact that the slope of any line parallel to L is equal to the slope of L which is this negative 3 halves. So now we know the slopes of both of these lines that we're interested in finding. But we also know that both of these lines pass through the same point, negative 1, 2, which means we can use the point-slope form for the equation of a line to find these equations. That is, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 where here our x1 is this x-coordinate, negative 1, and our y1 is equal to the y-coordinate, or 2. So for part A, the equation of the line that is perpendicular to L is given by y minus y1, which is 2, is equal to this slope, 2 thirds, times x minus x1, or x minus a minus 1, which is plus 1. And the equation in part B for the line that is parallel to L, passing through that same point, is given by y minus 2 is equal to this negative 3 halves times, again, x minus a minus 1 or x plus 1. However, looking back up here, we're asked to put our answers in standard form. So for this first equation here, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 3, to get rid of this fraction here. That is, we have 3 times y minus 2 is equal to 2 times x plus 1. And now distributing both the 3 and the 2 gives us 3y minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 2. And now bringing all the variables to one side and the numbers to the other gives us our answer of 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 8. So this is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to L passing through the point negative 1, 2. And in part B, again, we can get rid of this fraction if we multiply both sides of the equation by 2, which gives us 2 times y minus 2 is equal to negative 3 times x plus 1. Again, distributing gives us 2y minus 4 is equal to negative 3x minus 3. And finally, bringing all the variables to one side and the numbers to the other gives us our second answer of 3x plus 2y is equal to 1, which is the equation of the line parallel to L passing through that same point. And this is how we work with parallel and perpendicular lines. Thank you.
and we'll see you next time.